In this video, I'll show you how to fully set up your own Tablet Pro for the very first time. As soon as you take it out of the box, what should you do? Well, first of all, take your tablet and to turn it on, it's very easy. Right on the top over here, you're gonna notice you have all sorts of buttons. You need to keep press on this tiny one over here, not on the big one, the tiny one. Keep press during about two, three seconds until you see the on logo, then you can release it. And then you just have to wait until we have the setup screen appearing right there. After about eight seconds, you should have this blue screen telling you hello and asking you to choose your language. So we'll go ahead, you just have to tap on the language and select yours from this list. I'll select English Canada and then press start over here. Now it's time to connect your own Tablet Pro to the internet. So select your Wi-Fi network again from this list. Mine is this one, I'll click on it. And now we have to type the password of the Wi-Fi network we have selected. Once the password has been typed, press the blue check mark over here or press connect over there. Now we just have to wait until it connects. Usually it should be under five seconds. The tablet is setting up some settings in the background. Don't touch anything until you have the next screen appearing. On the next screen, they will ask you if you want to transfer your pictures or your contacts, your apps from another Google account. So if in the past you had an Android tablet or Android smartphone and you want to have the same app, the same pictures on your new on tablet pro, well, you have to select next and you'll be guided through a few screens telling you how to log in into your Google account to be able to transfer everything that you see over here, apps, photo, contacts, and probably other settings. In my case, I want to start completely fresh with this tablet. So I'll click on don't copy. Next, you'll be asked to sign in into your Google account. This is your Gmail account. Maybe this is your first Android device. Then you have to click on create an account. It only takes two, three minutes and you'll be able to um, create one. You can also skip this step, but unfortunately, if you're not connected to a Google account, you won't be able to download any apps, which defeats the purpose of having a tablet, right? You won't be able to download your favorite apps or games. And you know, this will limit your experience by a lot. So in my case, I'll sign in into my Google account by clicking here and typing my Gmail address, then press the blue button over here. And now you need to type the password of this account. After you type your password and press that blue button, you're gonna have this screen and then you have to press on I agree over there. Then over here, we're gonna have a few different options. You can keep check or uncheck. It's up to you, you can read them, but obviously what it is, it's do you want uh, to back up what will be on this on Tablet Pro on your Google account? So if you want, just keep this blue check mark check like that. Use location. Do you want the tablet to have access to your location for certain apps made by Google? Again, leave it like this if you don't mind and other stuff over there. It's again up to you to accept them or not. In my case, I'll accept them all and press this blue button at the end. Next step is to set up your Google Assistant. So every time you say, hey Google, what's the weather or stuff like that, well, you'll be able to get an answer by the Google Assistant. You can also set um, reminders and many other things uh, with it. It's the same thing as Alexa or if you have an Apple device, Siri. You can click on turn on once you scroll down on this page. If you want this feature or if you do not want it, you can click on no thanks. And this is what I will do. Over here, they'll ask you if you want to set up your Hey Google. It's the same thing. If you want, press I agree. If not, skip. Now we need to turn the tablet on the other side. Do you want to set up Google Pay? So every time you're gonna purchase something with this tablet, your credit card information will be already filled in because it will be saved 
on this device and on your Google account. If you don't want this, especially if you have kids using this tablet, you don't want them to have access to that. Although there is a password, still maybe you don't want that information to get stored. You can press skip. If you want this feature to be activated, press on add a card. I'll press skip. And now you're going to have other options that not many people will choose. Do you want to add another email account to this uh, tablet? So if your Google account, your Gmail account that you entered previously is not the only email you have and you want to have multiple ones, you can click on that, change font uh, size. Let's say you have problems seeing properly what's on the screen. Do you want to make it larger? You can click there to do that. And you can also change the wallpaper, but this can be done afterwards. So you don't have to change that right now. You can click on no thanks. And after a few seconds, you'll be greeted with the home screen of this on tablet pro. Now this one works both ways. If you prefer um, holding your uh, tablet this way, let me show you. It's also possible. I prefer holding it in this position because this tablet has a camera right over there you can see it therefore if you're holding it like this while well, you're gonna probably cover it if you're talking to somebody I think it's mostly made to be used in or horizontal mode like that and from here where it's your typical Android tablet right you can download apps you can go through many other settings if you want to see all the apps that are uh, on your tablet, just have to swipe from the bottom of the screen up and you'll be presented to you with the app drawer. This is where you see everything at once. You can have multiple pages too if you have more apps. But overall, these are the apps that come pre-installed. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like. Check my Amazon links in the description down below if you want to get a case for your tablet to protect it, maybe a screen protector, other stuff. Every time you purchase something through my Amazon links, I get a very, very small commission and it supports my channel. Comment, like, and I'll see you in the next video.